Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bow, and it's Kathy Bow's Crafting Show, Thursdays, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, we're going to do something today. Look what I got. Sticks. I got sticks. Y'all going to be like, what is she going to do with some sticks? Oh, oh, just wait. We're going to have fun with some sticks. Um, I also have glue gun over here. Okay, there we go. I'm going to flip my phone down because um, I'm already just a wee bit late. Just a wee bit. So hold on. Here we go. Turn you down this way. Y'all know the ropes. Y'all know the ropes. And I'm hoping I will not get another phone call like I just had while I'm live. Hey, Susan, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for hanging out. Okay, and Susan, this might help you with your new grandbaby when he's old enough to do stuff like this. This is a big old stick, y'all. It's from my pecan tree. And let me tell you a little bit about this. Um, uh, we did a lot of outdoor kind of activities. Like, we'd carry a paper bag and I would tell them to pick up, you know, like six orange leaves, three short sticks, things like that, you know. And then we would do some math games with them, that kind of thing. Well, also, my daughter and I made fairy furniture. So the fairies would have somewhere to sit, right? I mean, they need to sit somewhere. This looks like it might be the back of a throne, actually. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, fairy furniture, and y'all, my daughter actually, in college, she went to the Savannah College of Art and Design, and in college, she had a um, task of building furniture, miniature, fur well, I think it was miniature furniture. She built fairy furniture, y'all. It made my day, um, well, it made more than that, because I'm still still remembering it and just so happy that she could do something like that as an adult in college. And, you know, she made, she aced it. Um, they loved her fairy furniture. So that's what we're going to do today. I think we're going to make a fairy throne because I like the shape of this stick and we're going to glue this one to it. Now, if you're ever wondering what a hot mess looks like, stay tuned because it's going to happen. Okay. Because it, it, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. It is a hot mess. Um, when you're doing stuff like this with um, with a glue gun and glue and sticks, I mean, you know, they're fairies. They're they're very particular about how they look, but they don't care squat about their furnishings. They're just like, hey, anything will do. Just make it where it'll hold us. So we would set up fairy chairs and um, tables and things like that outside, and of course, the fairies only party at night. So the fairies in the night would get so rambunctious with their furniture, their furniture would be all over the place. And we'd have to go out there and set it back up because the fairies, you know, they played. They had friends over and they played. So, y'all, this is very much a part of my crafting that um, has, it just has really good feelings about it and um, doing this with my daughter when she was little. And then, guess what? Yeah, I've done it with my grandchildren. Her kids got to make fairy furniture. They were all over it. They thought it was the best thing ever. They had a blast. And, I mean, it it's whatever you want it to be. There's not a right or a wrong. I think I need to put this one... It doesn't need to be a wide throne because fairies, they, they're not, you know, they're not husky, husky fairies. They're just, you know, they're pretty lean because they have to fly. And they have to fly fast sometimes because they're, they're kind of always getting in trouble. And, you know, running and trying to sneak and all that. They're, they're pretty mischievous, those fairies. They are. Um, I see I got some more folks watching. While that's drying, I'm just going to check your 
your comments, Susan. Hey, Joanne. Uh, Susan, not working today. Only have a few minutes. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad you came while you could. Hey, Nyoka. Hey, Tammy. And Joanne, love this idea. Thank you. Heidi. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Yeah, so, yeah. My grand girls, my daughter's girls, made their fairy furniture, and they just thought it was the best thing ever. They had the best time. And... I don't know. You can decide what kind of cutting devices you want to use, but like these pecan sticks, really, I can just break them um, like that. I can, you know, I can just break them. You don't want to get a little crazy. Like it was so long. It was about this long. Look how big that chair is going to be. The fairy's legs are not going to touch the ground if you make it this long. They're, it's going to be like a lounger. And you don't want, you don't want to encourage that with the fairies, you don't. I mean, I'm not saying they're lazy, but you don't want to encourage all that laying around with the fairies. They um, they just need to keep doing what they're supposed to do, and because they're always on the clock, they're always on the clock. They have to go out there. They have to make sure that all the all the bees have pollinated all the flowers. They have they have a lot to do. They have to tell the snakes stay away from the people and the dogs. They do. And, and you know, sometimes sometimes the other forest animals listen to them. And sometimes they don't. But, you know. Um, now, this would be for the fairy queen because it's a throne. Okay. And, like I said, I mean, this, this is college. This is college material here because my daughter... Y'all, she made fairy furniture in college and aced the project. They loved it. You know, other people were doing, I don't know what kind of furniture they were doing, but it wasn't for fairies. I mean, you know, everybody, we, we should be inclusive. We should be inclusive and, you know, let the fairies have their furniture too, right? <laughs> uh, hey, Miles, I'm so glad you're here. Miles, we're making fairy furniture today, and these um, pieces of branch are from my pecan tree. Okay, we're just, and it's not going to take long. It really isn't. We're not going to be on here long at all today. Um, we we might have to make a few extra little braces or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. And y'all are like, but, I mean, are they going to stick it in the ground like at the beach? We could, we could, but we're going to give them something nice. We're going to give them something really nice. Um, I'm probably going to have to cut that off a little bit on the end um, and give it four legs. And let me tell you now, fairies love their furniture, but they don't really appreciate how much work goes into it because they will... Um, they will tear it up in the night, and you got to go back out there. And sometimes you got to glue things again, you know, because they 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 tell all their friends, "Hey, we've got a chair. Come over." And I I don't know what nectar that they're drinking or whatever, but y'all, a party will be had. This very furniture will be all over the little area. We used to make um, we used to make just a special area out in the woods because we. We raised our kids in the country, um, and we'd make a special little area. I'm going to try and break this. We'll see if I'm any good. Oh, dear. Hold on. Um, out in the woods, and, um, the you know, we'd, we'd leave our furniture out there. Hold on. I can do this. It's just hard. I should have broken it before. There we go. Oh, y'all about to see Kathy Bowe's crafting show go to the ER. There we go. We're okay. I'm tough. I can handle it. And look, we've got another piece of wood right here. Um, <laughs> don't do as I do. Do as I say do. Get you a different cutting device if you need it. Or break them in advance. Heavens. Now their little fairy legs can hang off of there. And you can even, if you have like a little piece of fabric, you can make them a little pillow to go here. Although they're little wings, 
it, they, their wings do flatten against their back, so they can lean up against the pillow or they can lean up against this. They're okay. They're okay. They don't mind a lumpy chair. At least they've never complained directly. They just throw stuff everywhere in the night. Here we go. Here's another piece. Y'all didn't know we were going to be out in the woods today, did you? I went out in the woods. I got my fairy furniture sticks. I took a picture for Kathy Bow's Crafting Show on um, on my page here so that y'all would know what we're going to do. Oh, that's kind of snazzy, y'all. Now, we got to give it... We got to give it some stability. I might want another little piece. Let's see if this guy will fit. Look at that, like it was made for it. Here we go. I went out in the um, yard where my pecan trees are, and I'm pretty sure one day a pecan tree is going to kill me dead right there in the yard, but thankfully it's in the front yard, so, you know, people driving by could go, ooh, look, that tree branch fell on her head. Because I'm always out there you know, under the pecan tree. Okay, so this is the back. It's looking pretty snazzy, isn't it? Look look underneath. I mean, if that's not a professional job, I don't know what is. So here we go. I've got this. I, I really don't know why, but we've got this. We're going to take this and we're going to put it here as one of the legs. We're going to put another one here as a leg. And I'm thinking we're going to put it here and here. We might even get armrests for heaven's sakes. This is for one of the taller fairies. Um, they're going to have to have long arms in order to be able to hold on to their chair. Oh, I see we're going to need another glue stick, which happens to be right here, y'all. I am well equipped today. All right. Please hold. i got to make sure this is going to hang on. Maybe go that way. There we go. Mm. Okay, that right there. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot, y'all. It's hot. Okay, I got another glue stick. Woohoo! And I'm using Aileen's Ultimate Glue Gun. They had her very boring glue gun, but I bought the Ultimate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, this thing comes with a bunch of different tips, which I've absolutely never used. Um, I'm the kind of person that, y'all, when I go shopping, first of all, I don't like to shop unless, unless it's crafting stuff, you know. Um, and I'm just reinforcing because I know, I know, I know how they're going to behave when it comes time to sit on the, the little fairy furniture. Um... But yeah, if, if it's crafting stuff, I think I like to shop a lot more. Um, but if it's like shoes, I walk in. If I don't see them, I'm really done. I'm really done. Just Let's just go home. And I don't, I don't shop for all the things. I don't like to. I'm, I'm not girly in that way. Not girly at all. Okay, here we go. We got the we got these oh we got these two legs on. Oh dear. Would you just hold on? I, I know what they want. I know what they want. They want a brace. And y'all are probably like, Kathy Bo, they need a brace. Let's see. Hey Hopper. Let's see. Um Miles says, Hey, hey, Deborah, I admire your creativity. Oh, my friend. I'm so glad to see you here. Thank you. Hey, Hopper, and what's long, brown, and sticky? Oh, no. <laughs> Go ahead, Hopper, tell me. And Heidi says, are you prepared with your little pink finger covers so you won't burn your fingers? Actually, Heidi, I got them right here. Boop. They're too small for my um for my thumb, but I'll, I'll use them here. Okay, so we need a little brace going this way. Let's see what we got. Now, underneath the chair does not really matter how it looks because, they, like I said, they're just happy to have them some furniture. And they go and they brag to all the other fairies. And everybody's like, hey, let's go over to Birch Street where the fairy princess lives because she's got furniture. Yeah. Birch. Pecan Street. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look, look, can y'all see? I'm stuck to my, my paper. Like, I was legit stuck. Okay. 
And if y'all ever wonder what to do with all those little furry things that come off of your um, glue thing, you just heat them up. And they're, they're strings, y'all. And they're everywhere. And, and they're very, very annoying. Here's, here's some of them right here. Very annoying. But all I gotta do is heat them up because they do not like heat. They can't take the heat, man. They can't take it. All right, hold on. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna heat some up right now just to um, make them stop looking like they look. See, watch them go away. See how quickly? I'm pretty impressed with the little heat tool here and what all it can do. But like I said, it's not like we have to make it pretty because the fairies don't care. They just want to be the one with the furniture so everybody will come to their house. Let's see if we can do this one. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, we're going to stick this one here. But you know what? We got to make sure it's going to stand up well, right? And like I said, you can you can stitch or hot glue a little pillow that goes here and here. You can cut a piece of towel and drape it over so it looks like maybe she's at the fairy beach. Um, yeah, we're going to put this here. All right. Um, that, you know, or you can paint it. I don't. I've never painted them. Um, because again, I just I just don't think the fairies care if it's painted. Um, here we go. We're putting that one there. We're going to put this one here. And you can finish them off however you want to. But this is the way we've always done it. And we've had no complaints, no returns, nothing like that. Nobody's returned them. All right, so we got, oh dear. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. We, we, we don't. We don't say excellence in our, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in our marketing materials because, you know, you got to figure some fairies, you know, they, they going they just going to say, oh, it didn't work. I want my money back. And I'll be like, okay, well, you didn't pay for it. <laughs> so we don't promise anything. Here's how we're doing. We've got a good, solid structure underneath. I think even the heaviest fairies can sit on this. We're going to put another piece across here just to keep it from, um, you know, from folding up on us like it's a stadium seat. And y'all know it's not. It's much higher quality than that. We're going to put this piece right here, y'all. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if y'all know the name of my, my home. We call it Six Little Acres. And there's a reason for that because it's there's six acres. Okay, um, but <laughs> but um, we had this amazing path that we had a guy come out and use his big whatever those things are to uh, create us this incredible path, and I love it so much. But y'all, Noonan had a tornado. Um, a year ago, this past March, and we didn't, the tornado, praise the Lord, did not come here. It, it didn't actually come here, but as the eagle flies, a mile from here was total devastation, and we have very few problems compared to the other people who lost their whole homes, but our little trail out in the woods that we created so that I could walk out there for for my help, you know. Um, our little trail is it's got so many downed trees. So Ninja Man and I have to go out there and we have to take little chainsaws. I get I get the electric one, I think. He's gonna get the real one. Um, because our son doesn't live anywhere near us. If he did, he'd be like, Mom, there's no way you are gonna go out there and run a chainsaw. But but y'all, he's not here. He lives near Savannah. All right, this is going to be our, our rail for the, you know, armrest. So we're going to go out there <clears throat> and start, excuse me, we're going to start um, clearing that so that I can have my little walking trails back. Even though, even though, y'all, I was walking out there one day, and I'm not even kidding you, 
Now, this is deep in the woods, okay, on Six Little Acres. Um, I was walking out there, and Ninja Man was behind me. He was, he was bringing up the rear. And, y'all, a deer, I'm, I'm not even kidding you, a deer ran so close in front of me. And y'all know I'm a grandma, right? Okay, so I, I'm not even kidding, but grandma almost got run over. And by, by a deer. And we can call him a reindeer. We can, because it's my story. But... <laughs> But I'm not even kidding. This thing went by me so fast. And Ninja Man was like, oh my gosh, did you see that? And I'm like, did I see it? I, yeah, I had the deer in the headlights. Look, did you see that? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right there. Y'all, we have a, ow, 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 ow. That one really got me, y'all. That one really got me. Okay. So much so that I lost this guy. I was going to show you. We have us a fairy chair, but I picked it up on the hot end. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. So here we go. This is our fairy chair. Careful not to touch the hot parts. And why does everybody want to call me right now? My phone's ringing up a storm, and I'm just, I'm just ignoring the calls because we're busy. We're crafting, y'all. Okay, I'm getting rid of all the little stringy strings that come with hot glue so that it's presentable to the queen of the fairies. Ugh, look at that, look at that. So y'all, we need a coffee table and some other things, but I'm not gonna be able to make those today because I got so much to do today. But I wanted y'all to see, um, the fairies can decorate this for the holidays, they can put Easter, spring banners, a Christmas thing, whatever they want to do. They could put lights on it if they wanted to. That I mean, but isn't that just fun? So think, look at your little sticks around your yard or go to your neighbor's yard, preferably when they're not home and, and get, <laughs> no, don't do that. But there's sticks laying around, you know, there are, there are. And um, get you some sticks and some hot glue. Try not to get it quite as hot as mine. Ow. It's okay. Um, but do all that and make yourself some fairy furniture. It's really kind of neat to just sit around like rustic, you know? And and you could put little, little people in it or something. I don't know. You decide. But we need a coffee table. We need a couple of other chairs and a sofa. We're really good at making sofas out of this. So, guys, thank you so much. Let me look at your comments real quick before I go. And let's see. Um, let's see. What's long, brown, and sticky? I don't, a stick. Oh, hopper. <laughs> Tips with the glue string. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Hopper, I am the branch manager. Look at that. I'm the branch manager, y'all. I love it. I love it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come back. Hey, Shell Merriman, I hope you're doing well. Um, yes, Heidi, I, I did. I burned it because that's the one without it. Thank you, Tammy. And y'all, this is good for, for you to play with and create with. It's good for, um, for your grandkids, your kids, whatever. But just remember, when you're putting these sticks together, you're going to have to have extra support. That's really my only tip. Um, pretty much any size stick will do. I brought this Big Mac Daddy because maybe maybe I'm going to make something else. I don't know. Thanks so much, guys. God bless and toodles.